Hi, I'm Tom, and I discovered something. Something from a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. More specifically in this zone. If we zoom in on it, way out in the distance we see this bright spot. Let me zoom further in on it. Wait, that doesn't really look like a planet or something. Nope. This is a slice through an x-ray scanned tree core. So you see here a tree core with a paper straw wrapped around it. It was taken from a, from a tree and then scanned with an x-ray CT device. Now, if we've sliced further through it, that makes more sense, right? This is a, a, a cross section of a tree core uh, showing uh, the rings and showing the early wood to the late wood transitions uh, from bit to bark. So, kind of fooled you in this one. It isn't from a galaxy far, far away. It is from right here on Earth. So, um, that's not true. But, it was a long time ago. The tree core I showed you is from these gnarly bristlecone pine trees. They can live up to 5,000 years. Now, uh, we've scanned those trees with the X-ray CT device because of their gnarly growth. They could have never been analyzed before because we're looking at uh, the late wood density, which is a proxy for summer temperature. And once we got this um, value, we can re reconstruct temperatures uh, back until 5,000 years ago and beyond. So the reason why I show this is because this would have never been possible without our machine. And it's our famous uh, X-ray CT machine where we've uh, optimized it for tree core. So uh, this is a legacy of a, a whole uh, bunch of people that worked on it and uh, to optimize uh, uh, scanning tree cores for various purposes, in this case, climate science, but also wood technology and wood anatomy. And that's what I want to show here. So if we look at uh, our, our core here, and this fits within a sample holder where we can put multiple samples and then we can uh, um, scan it in three dimensions. And then uh, we've we done this for various uh, tree species. So you see here some birch trees, oak trees, pine trees, beech. Look at the detail here. You see uh, the early wood vessels of oak. You can even see the birch vessels. Um, so on our uh, uh, dendrochronomics platform, there's a free software available that allows to extract the virtual tree cores, indicate the tree rings, and export the data. Um, this was published uh, before, but now we also have a website uh, showing where you can download the software and where you can uh, see all of our research. And so far, uh, we've scanned up to 6,000 cores, covering 170 species, Worldwide, so the uh, famous bristlecone pine tree I showed you was uh, was uh, taken from uh, from the uh, California White Mountains here, and uh, and then uh, we also uh, scanned a lot of trees in uh, Congo Basin and in Europe. Now, why is this uh, so uh, innovative? Well, it allows you to map ring width and wood density at the same time, uh, taking into account uh, the the grain angle, so which we which I, I let you already see uh, with the bristlecone pines where the grain angle is really uh, uh, shifting a lot. So that can be overcome with, um, with X-ray CT. It allows for grain angle mapping. And when scanned at very high resolution, it allows wood anatomy. So vessel lumina, uh, tracheids to be, a uh, tracheids lumen area to be measured. Here are some examples from beech trees and uh, oak trees where we can simultaneously assess density and, uh, and ring width. And then there is the uh, uh, study on Terminalia superba where we can uh, show the both the radial variation and the axial variation from uh, from uh, bottom of the tree to the top of the tree and see how this uh, wood density varies and here we see an increase from pith to bark and an increase from uh, bottom to top with uh, higher densities in the upper upper crown. Then there's the aspect of interlock grain on Pericopsis elata. It's a Formosia, it's a tree with a, a very nice uh, wood. And uh, here we show uh, its pith to bark uh, variation in grain angle, which gives us like the holographic effects 
of that tree species and it can be assessed together with with density so um, and then finally there is the um, the wood anatomy part where if we scan splinter sized samples we can uh, visualize the cell lumina uh, for this large uh, tree species um, and then with a machine learning algorithm we can easily map uh, cell uh, wall thickness and cell wall lumina thickness so as a wrap up we have uh, our CT scanner with uh, associated toolboxes then um, we are only scratching the surface of the applications possible for wood technology so uh, I would say the sky is the limit Thank you for your attention and please reach out to me if you have any questions.